a small island nation in the Pacific Ocean. Dairy farming is conducted in many places of the country. Although Japan has small land area and certainly raises fewer cows than other countries around the world, Japan's milk yield per cow boasts of being world class thanks to advanced dairy farming technology. However, it is only 150 years ago when the dairy farming started in Japan. How has Japan, with short history of dairy farming compared to Europe and other countries, acquired world class dairy farming technology? First, let's take a look at the status of dairy farming in Japan today. Japanese dairy farming can be roughly divided into two groups according to its location and stage of urbanization. One is Hokkaido type dairy farming, which is found in Hokkaido. And the other is prefecture type dairy farming, which is found in other prefectures, including Kanto, Tohoku, Kiyuzu, and Shikoku. Hokkaido accounts for 56% of raw milk production, and other regions 44%. Production volume is highest in Hokkaido, followed by Kanto, Tohoku, and other areas. In terms of purpose of consumption, a greater proportion of raw milk produced in Hokkaido is used for various types of processed dairy products, and a high proportion of raw milk produced in other prefectures is consumed as drinking milk. Domestic demand on raw milk is met by changing the purpose of use according to distance from major consumption areas, such as Kanto, including Tokyo. That is, one is Hokkaido, which is located far away from the consumption areas, and another is prefectures, which are closer to such areas. Now let's look at the status of dairy farming of two different types, namely prefectures and Hokkaido. First, dairy farming of prefecture types. This is a farm in Chiba Prefecture, which is located next to the capital city of Tokyo, this farm is a typical example of prefecture type. Approximately 100 cows are raised here in Thai stall barns. Each cow can be managed individually, and because they are well cared, their health conditions can be closely monitored. The restriction of cow movement, however, is a major problem, as causing a lot of stress on the cows. In most prefectures, a high proportion of dairy farms keep cows in this type of barn. It's milking time. Although dairy farmers usually milk twice a day, morning and evening, 30 to 50 cows are milked in about two hours with one person operating two or three milking machines. This is freshly sucked raw milk, which is distributed mostly as drinking milk. This raw milk goes through pipelines in the barn and is temporarily stored in this tank. Then a milk collection vehicle comes and collects the raw milk from the tank. Many tests are also conducted in this process.
The raw milk is collected if there are no problems with various indicators, such as temperature and flavor. Raw milk collected from many farms like this is sold to dairy processors through agricultural cooperatives and distributors. The processors sell it to schools, retail stores, and restaurants before it reaches the consumers. Next, shall we take a look at dairy farming in Hokkaido? What takes place in the Takachi Plain, which occupies an extensive area in the east side of Hokkaido, is a typical dairy farming of the Hokkaido type. Here on Suzuki Farm, about 400 cows are raised on 37 hectares of land, which is much larger in size compared with the prefecture type dairy farms. In the past, in Takachi, it was a common dairy farming practice to take advantage of the extensive lands and raise cows by releasing them in grasslands, known as grazing. This practice, however, is said to have changed in the 2000s. Grazing has declined because milk yield per cow needs to be taken into account for improving the efficiency. Here on Suzuki Farm, management is done in a free-range barn with milking cows not tied up, known as free stall. This is very different from the prefecture type. Cleanliness can be maintained all the time because the cows can move relatively freely in the barn and are not crowded. Barn construction costs are relatively low and management work can be reduced. For cows kept in free stalls, a dedicated milking facility called a milking parlor is adopted by many dairy farms in Hokkaido. The advantage of this method is that work efficiently can be increased with little movement of humans doing the milking. Because the cows come to the milking parlor to have milk sucked themselves when it is time for milking. Japanese dairy farming was divided into two types according to the circumstances of the land and still is today. Prefecture type farming, in which milk for drinking is produced, is close to major cities, convenient for transportation, and has little land. And Hokkaido type dairy farming, in which milk for processing is produced, is based on abundant land, but is far from urban areas and therefore transportation is costly. But how has this Japanese-type dairy farming evolved? Now let's take a look at the history of Japanese dairy farming. The history of Japanese dairy farming began when dairy cows were introduced for the first time on the Minioka farm in Chiba Prefecture in 1727. Until then, cattle were used mostly for works such as cultivation and transportation in Japan, and the meat and milk were almost never consumed as a food.
Around this time, when cow's milk first began to be sold in Japan in the latter half of the 1800s, only very few people were able to drink it due to its high prices. However, the popularity of cow's milk and dairy products began to increase sharply going into the Meiji era, 1868 to 1912. メイジ神があって欧米の列強に対して国力の差が非常にあるというところがまああの当時の政府は危惧してましたのでこの差をどうやって縮めていこうかとその一つとしてじゃあまず健康で体を大きく日本人をしていこうと肉の症例と牛